Uh, some World War II era planes are at the Lincoln Airport tonight. It's the world's largest traveling flying museum. They're giving out tours and even offering plane rides this weekend. New at 5, Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Zach Worthington was there and has more for us. Zach? Rod and Megan here at the Lincoln Air Park. People have a very rare opportunity this week to get up close and personal with three vintage plane models that were used by U.S. forces back in World War II. Some of World War II's most famous American bombers are in town. These historic plane models were brought to the Lincoln Airport by the Commemorative Air Force, the world's largest traveling flying museum. And some of the planes are incredibly rare. There's only two B-29s flying in the world today, and there's only two B-24s flying in the world today, and the Commemorative Air Force has one of each. Glenn Mount is one of the tour leaders. He says this is the chance of a lifetime for those interested in World War II history or antique military aircrafts. This is an amazing opportunity. We have the B-24 Liberator that served in Europe and the Pacific. We have the B-29 Super Fortress that served in the Pacific. That was the uh, model of aircraft that dropped the two atomic bombs on Japan, which ended the war in World War II. 87-year-old Leo Gall drove with his two children from Iowa to be here. He served in the Korean War during the early 1950s. He said he couldn't miss the chance to see the B-29 Super Fortress, a plane that he served as the gunner for on 29 combat missions. It does bring back a lot of memories. I was stationed in Okinawa. It was about a 10, 10, 8 to 10 hour combat mission round trip to North Korea. The B-24 Liberator first began active service in 1941. It was the most produced American aircraft during World War II. The B-29 Super Fortress began active service in 1944. It's best known for its combat missions over Japan. Leo showed his family where he used to sit in the plane during combat missions. I'm really interested in go taking my family into the uh, gunnery section, the middle pressurized section because I was the top gunner. Now the tours go from 9 to 5 o'clock and they'll continue from Thursday until Sunday of this week. And if you'd like directions on how to get here or just to learn more about the event, head to our website at klknTV.com for the information. Reporting in Lincoln, Zach Worthington, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.